Collector 62492 here, and yet again we are going to be taking a look at another figure from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie Legacy line. And today we're going to be looking at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Ranger. So, uh, this is my second video on um, the movie figures. So, there will be a total of uh, seven total, there are a total of seven figures. And I will eventually get the other ones. I do have another review for tomorrow on black, so stay tuned to that one. But today we're going to be looking at red. So, here is the packaging. It looks just the same as the one from the Ivanus figure. But instead it says Red Ranger on it. So, you can see the figure right there in the window. Uh, the top has nothing. And then on the back, we have the, the story, of course, so you guys can pause and read the story if needed right there and we also have a bio for Rocky so you guys can take a look at that as well as some pictures for the other figures so all I need now is blue yellow pink and white so if anybody has pink let me know but anyway guys let's take this guy out of the package and see what he's so guys here he is the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger movie figure I gotta say, I was really, really looking forward to these when they first came out, uh, or when they first announced them back uh, in, at Power Morph Con in San Diego Comic Con, and now that I have, uh, you know, the Rangers in hand, you know, I had Ivan Ooze, and I thought that was, like, beautiful, but the Rangers, they just look amazing. So, we'll take a look at the figure first and the accessories it comes with, so I have the Red Ranger in some really weird pose, but still... He just looks amazing. Let me uh, adjust him real quick, but he, he is beautiful. So as you guys can see from the head sculpt right there, he he's just perfect in every way. You guys can see the sculpting right there for the, the armor to make it look at, like it's from the movie. Even the morpher. The morpher is uh, accurate, of course, with the... You know, the red belt buckle portion and then the morpher itself. But you guys see, can see the different sculpting going on there. As well as the boots there. That's accurate to the movie. To the bottom there. And then on the back. Again, very accurate to the movie. So pretty cool. As well as the chest coin right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it has the Tyrannosaurus on it. Pretty cool. Really love this figure. Now articulation for this guy. He has full head rotation. So he can fully rotate his head. He does move up and down. And he does pivot side to side. His arms do go in and out. Rotate at the upper part of the bicep. Bend at one point at the elbow right there. So it doesn't bend any further. And he does have wrist articulation, so it rotates and it hinges in and out. He does kick forward and back. He does hinge in and out, so he can kick out pretty far and do the splits. He does bend at the ankle, or at the knee. He does rotate at the um, the cuff portion of the, um, the boot. And then he does have ankle pivot. And I know people that would love to have ankle pivot on these figures they're really nice so yeah so there is the red ranger so now he does have a few accessories the first thing obviously he does have his blade blaster right here they are all the blade blasters are painted to look like they are for the specific ranger right here or this is called the ranger stick right here and then he does come with a a holster for the ranger stick and then we have an alternative head right here this is the um, the helmet for when Rocky is doing the scan for the ooze men when they're in the construction site so it's nice that they gave that alternative head now in order to exchange the heads all you gotta do is pop this off right there my camera just moved around and then just pop this one on like so and there that's what he looks like with the visor on so pretty cool overall really nice figure so and all you gotta do to exchange them is put the other one on 
So they're not entirely difficult to put on. You gotta break them in, of course, but still. Um, you can also, if you guys cannot see, right here, you have a little hole. Peg this in right here. If I can. There we go. And it gives him his little holster. And you can put the ranger stick in the holster. Like so. So he's all ready to go. Right there. So, pretty cool overall. Really nice figure. I can't wait to get the other figures. Um, we never got a proper, you know, movie figure. I guess the only way we could have gotten movie figures is uh, McDonald's did their own little sculpt for the figures. But these are the best representations of the movie uh, suits in figure form. And do I recommend them? Hell yes, I do. They're perfect. Um, as a matter of fact... When I bought these, I bought them for $13 a piece, the two I found. So it was a really nice deal. I'm really happy I got it for that price because they're usually retail at $17. And so far, all I need is, like I said, I need pink, yellow, blue, and white. So those are only four I need. So if anybody can find them for me, let me know. And uh, as always, guys, if you like my videos, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you just plain out don't like me, hit the dislike button. But I'll be back tomorrow with a Black Ranger review. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.